Hey guys and welcome to my August beauty review video. Um, this month I actually don't have as many products. In fact, I just have two skincare items, um, one body product and the rest are makeup. As always, we will start out with skincare. In my recent clear skin update video, I talked to you guys about how my skincare routine is generally the same, but I did add in one new product and this is the Skin Perfecting um, 8% AHA Gel. What this claims to do is it creates radiant even toned skin, reveals new younger skin, and stimulate, stimulates collagen production. So I'm not expecting miracle results overnight with this, but I will use it for an extended period of time to hopefully see some changes like in the long term. So yeah, I have been enjoying this and it has not irritated or broken me out. And what I do is um, after my face is cleaned, like washed and toned, I just rub this into my skin. I wait for that to dry a little bit and then I'll go in and put on my serums and moisturizers and all that stuff before I go to bed. So the second skincare product I have is Sunday Riley's Juno Oil. And I know I said that I would have a video on this and I've been putting it off for like almost two months now. And the reason for that is um, I honestly don't think that this oil is worth the hype or the price tag. So this is um, one fluid ounce and this cost about, it's like at or around $100. And honestly, if I'm gonna pay that much, I would expect something, I would expect something bigger than just moisture. But that's honestly what I feel like I've gotten out of this is, yes, I do wake up, my face is glowy, it does feel moisturized, but that's about it. And the reason I don't recommend this or think that you know this is worth any of the hype is because I honestly feel I can wear my Cetaphil cream before I go to bed and I would wake up with my skin feeling just as moisturized. I will finish this up because you know I don't want to waste money. And actually when I say that I'll finish it up, I actually mean my husband wears this every night before bed. So save your money guys, don't get this. <laughs> This is Origins Comfort Mood Whipped Vanilla Body Souffle and it is a body cream. And initially when I saw this, um, I thought it would just smell like vanilla, but I was pleasantly surprised to find that this smells just like an orange creamsicle. Oh, it smells so amazing. This was gifted to me by my mother-in-law and I mean, she knows, she gets me the best stuff. Like she knows like the scents that I like and you know the makeup products and it's just very it's lightweight but it's very moisturizing and it's such a pleasant smell. It doesn't have that like overly sweet vanilla scent, but it does have a little bit of that citrus mix in. Like honestly, if you just picture an orange creamsicle, that is what you'll get with this body cream and I highly recommend this. Moving on to makeup, the first product that I want to talk to you guys about is MAC's Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation and I am in the color NC30. So the reason I picked this up is because I just read so many like good reviews about how waterproof this is, how sweat proof it is, and how it just like, like once you apply it, it just really stays on your face. Even if you get caught in the rain or you're working out or you know, what have you. Um, I just thought this would be perfect considering how humid it's been in Korea in the summer. So I did pick this up in Korea and the first few times that I tried it, I really liked it. And I liked it because I wore it in like the peak of summer when it was super hot and I did find that it stayed put. But as you know, August was wrapping up and it is getting way, way cooler here, I find that this is a bit drying on my skin. So. After I put it on, like I find flakes and then I would have to go and like peel it off and it just didn't feel comfortable on my face. And throughout the day, like I felt that when I would talk or smile or like my skin would like, you know, I would move my face obviously, um, I would find that it kind of settled into my fine lines and I saw like a little bit of like the makeup breaking up on my face. So I don't know. Um, 
I did start this new thing where I started labeling um, the expiration dates on all of my cosmetics. So this one, it's supposed to last until February 2016. This isn't gonna make it until next summer for me, so maybe I will give this away to someone who has really oily skin all year round. I did like this when it was really humid. Oh, and also I should mention that um, this formula is actually, it doubles as a concealer. So because it is full coverage, you can actually go in with the second layer if there are parts of your face that you want to conceal. So yeah, this is a, I guess, a nice two-in-one product in that sense. So another product that I picked up in lieu of the humid, sticky uh, weather and like my shiny T-zone is Makeup Forever's Step 1 Skin Equalizer and this is the Mattifying Primer. And I picked this up because um, my friend actually recommended this to me and I saw um, Claire talking about this on her channel and I know she uh, deals with oily skin and so I knew I wouldn't be using it on my entire face just because I have you know, certain dry spots because of my combination skin type. Um, I actually picked this up to maybe use like right, you know, right here and around my nose and on my chin. So what I, what I do want to point out is when you are working with this product, you do have to work quickly because, there, let me show you the texture, it's, it comes out it comes out like that, okay, that is a lot. You do not need to use as much. So it comes out and it feels like a light gel, but actually once it starts drying, it actually almost feels a little bit tacky. And because it feels tacky, um, I'm also layering this on top of my skincare. So after I put on, after I wash my face and I tone and I moisturize, I also do wear sunscreen. And then this goes on top of the sunscreen. And for whatever reason, it doesn't mix too well with my sunscreen. So I do have to use less. I have to work quickly. And even with that, I find that it does kind of cake up around my nose. Um, it has been okay, like in between my brows and on my chin. But to be honest, I haven't been reaching for it as much as I was hoping I would and for the price I was yeah I was hoping to get more use out of it and this is due to expire next summer and I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish all of this so I don't know my oily skin friends you guys might really love and appreciate this but if you have combination skin maybe not worth the investment it's already super super sticky it's tacky which is good like I feel like this is what makes your makeup not budge on top of it, but I got dry skin. I also picked up MAC Strobe Cream and I'm really sure that this was the influence of, of a lot of like the Korean cosmetic culture. And that's because like, you know, Koreans are into really dewy skin. And some of the Korean YouTubers that I've been watching, they just have like the most dewy but not oily kind of skin. And a lot of them swear by this. So I was very, very curious and I wanted to pick this up and I did, but um, strangely, when I put this on after my skincare and before my makeup, this actually dries out my skin. And it's weird because after doing some research on the ingredients in this, there's actually like pretty good ingredients, like skincare wise. And look at this, it, I mean, I wouldn't wear it on my whole face, especially when I get too oily, but Look at that, like if I were to wear it over my cheeks, I think it would look so nice under makeup. And like on my hand, it feels super moisturizing. But ironically, my regular foundation kind of like flakes on top of this. And so I haven't been reaching for this either. I don't know, can you guys Tell me, am I missing something? Like, should I be applying it some way? I just kind of put it on like lotion, but yeah, it just hasn't been working out for me and it's such a bummer because look at that. It's like a highlighter in liquid form. So yeah, my thoughts on that. I also picked up a cleaning mist from Etude House and this is one of those like um, the spray brush cleaners. And so if I'm like, Working with different colors. I'm experimenting with more eyeshadow colors these days, but like with my makeup brushes, if I just want to quickly um, clean them off in the moment, I will just take some of this and I lay my brush on a tissue. So I will do that. And then I will go ahead and 
spray it and then just kind of dab it off and it does a good job in taking off eyeshadow in the moment. This isn't for deep cleaning, but it's really just like on the spot for a quick clean. And I picked this up because it was super affordable. I want to say it was like less than five bucks. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, it's been serving me very well. Um, and you know, using the eye brushes after this cleanser, it hasn't irritated my skin. So I think I will keep purchasing that. I have been loving Bobbi Brown's Ballet Pink Lip Liner and it is just, oh, it is such a nice nude color. So let me just, it's a nice nude, my lips but better kind of shade. And I have just been using it to outline my lips. And I also go ahead and like fill in my lips and just wear some gloss on top. So yeah, I've been absolutely loving this shade. The Bobbi Brown Telluride Eye Palette. I've talked about this in my Get Ready With Me um, video, and this was also gifted to me by my mother-in-law, and I have been obsessed with this eye palette. Like, I'm really trying to experiment, and I'm actually in the middle of considering going to the Makeup Forever Academy in Korea to learn some makeup techniques, I don't know. Um, they are offering like classes and the semester is going to start soon, so I'm still on the fence. Um, Brandon is really encouraging me to do it just for you know the exposure and the experience. So anyway, um, <laughs> I have been playing more with eyeshadow and these are just very neutral colors. I think they're perfect to do like a smoky everyday like smoky brown ma eye makeup and yeah, I mean, I love it. What's sad is it seems like um, with Bobbi Brown eye palettes, like every season they come out with a new one and then it's like limited edition. So I'm already thinking like, do I need to buy a backup of this? I don't know. But I'll wait. I'll wait. Yes. And the last item is also a Bobbi Brown, also gifted to me by my mother-in-law. And this is the Pot Rouge for Lips and Cheeks in the color Maui. And it is this um, coral pink, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, it is a cream formula, so you can use this on your cheeks as a blush, and then you can also use it on your lips. Um, it's very, very beautiful on both the cheeks and the lips, but I will say that on the lips, it can be a little bit drying, so you wanna make sure that your lips are exfoliated and they're well moisturized before popping this on. So yeah, this is a very nice color. I love it. Okay, so that is it for all the things that I have been trying in August. I have been kind of tame with the number of products I've been trying, and it's mostly because Brandon and I are headed to New York soon in November, and so I have just been making a list of all the things that I wanna pick up when I'm in New York, and I'm waiting to do my big splurge then. So yeah, the products that I've mentioned, they're just things that I've collected slowly throughout the month. But I think December's video is gonna be quite fun slash overwhelming because I have a feeling I'm gonna come back with a lot of stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned. And as always, I love to hear um, your thoughts. And if there are products that you guys have been loving, I would love to know. So please share in the comments below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You like how the top shelf is like all the stuff I don't use? No, actually no, I use this foundation. That's about it.